Hi everyone and welcome to my spirit room. Well, actually, we're not really in the spirit room today. We are in another part of the house, so, but we will call the spirits to join us here. So today we are discussing what type of witch are you or types of witches. And um, I actually want to discuss this with you guys. It's actually really important to know what type of witch you are. And I'm going to tell you why that is. And hi, by the way, I'm Deborah, and this is my channel, Energy of Everything, where we discuss all things, as you can guess, witchy. But also spiritual as well. We do herbalism and even some tarot card readings. Okay? So, first of all, um, oh, please like the video if you do like the video and subscribe as well hit the subscription there's a thing in this corner here you can just tap on it and uh hit the, the subscription and then the notification bell so that when i do bring out new videos you will know i am going to be bringing out videos got to do with types of witches so i am going to go into all the witches and by the way this is not all the witches guys there's just too many i had to bring it down to like nine even nine it's like ooh, it's kind of big there are so many different kinds of witches i try to choose the ones that i you know see are the most out there if i've missed you if you are a witch out there who is your own thing let me know in the comments and let me see what kind of witch you are we have art witches we have oh gosh uh lunar witches we have uh, nocturnal witches we have oh a whole bunch of different kinds of witches okay so if you're one of those and I didn't include you in the list oh, darling I really couldn't help it there is just too many to name and list okay so let's get into this I'm also gonna be putting out a little series on this I think I'll be like going into each witch and discussing why is it actually important for you to know which category you fall into and the reason being very simple you need to know which direction you're going in you need to know what you can focus on so that you can improve your craft and actually become really talented at what you do and that is the whole purpose at the end of the day is to really improve you want to be able to look at what you are doing and go i've got really good at this and see the results and this is what I want to help you with so I'm going to discuss nine different types let's get into it okay the first one I want to talk about is eclectic witch uh, I started off with eclectic witch because um, I don't know if you know what an eclectic witch is I'm gonna tell you now eclectic witch is a witch that doesn't sort of fit into a category so they kind of uh, might even in the nine things I'm mentioning maybe they are two th two to three or even four or even more kind of things that they are interested in and it might seem like yeah but you're a little bit scattered you don't have like a thing I have my own kind of like um, understanding of what an eclectic witch is for me I believe they are how can I say this the forerunners the leaders even though other witches we are all leaders let me tell you all witches are leaders okay if you're a witch you're a leader okay you don't you don't wait for the crowd you just make your own path that's an eclectic witch right there said right there they do not wait for the crowd they are making their own paths and usually the craft that they make is unlike anything else anyone has ever done they are taking things from different places and putting it in leaving what they don't want keeping what they like and making something new that's why I say they like the leaders because a lot of the things they do you might find other people see what they're doing and start following what they're doing that's why they open the way to new things okay second one I want to discuss is green witch if you know me if you are you're one of my Instagram followers or even if you're not uh, yeah you can go see my Instagram below I have millions of herbs everything is about herbs with me if I'm gonna do a magic spell the first thing I go to is which herb do I need Okay, I don't even go to look at the candles or what color or whatever. It's just which herb. If this is you, you are growing plants all over your house. You love nature. You hear the trees and you know when that wind is blowing through those trees, they are talking, guys. You are a green witch. Uh, yeah, you just love nature. And just because you love plants, I mean, I see a lot of people having tons of plants in their house. And I go, mm, green witch. Doesn't always mean you can always grow them, by the way. I love plants not all of them make it unfortunately but uh, yeah some of them do and then I know me and you we understand each other keep going okay I always keep trying but I love I love herbs Greenwich passion there you go uh, I have a list by the way because I don't want to forget one and I look back on the re recording and I'm like I forgot that one okay next one is gonna be kitchen witch <sighs> okay 
Let's discuss this. If you are a kitchen witch, first of all, A, invite me over. Hello. I am not a kitchen witch. That's why I want you to invite me over. If you are in your kitchen, you have a passion for cooking. You have a passion and energy. I mean, you know, have you been to people's houses and you just go in there and everyone's in the kitchen? It's like this is the gathering spot and you're always doing something there. You're always planning on cooking something. You, you love cooking. Um, you could even be incorporating already this into your practice if you're not if you feel like you know i actually love cooking and i'm such a good cook you could even go down this road and become a kitchen witch because i don't know if you know you can make magic with onions you can make magic with carrots you can make magic with green beans you can make magic with anything a pot and a spatula you can make magic with that if you have an altar in your kitchen if you have candles in your kitchen and some kind of effigy of a goddess or something in your you are already a kitchen witch okay keep going that way i'll put up videos and stuff for you guys like i said and we're going to go into more of the things what are the, some of the tips and hints that you can do to really understand more about how to improve on your your path let's check the next one. Oh, elemental witch okay elemental witch if you are a witch you know uh, if you're not a witch, let's say you're not a witch, okay, and you're just looking at this to gain information. Hello then, how are you? Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> Literally, not really. We are beautiful people. Okay, so we have earth, air, fire, and water. We do not call it earth, air, fire, and water. If you're a witch, you will call it spirit of earth, spirit of air, spirit of fire, and spirit of water. I also work with that, but an elemental witch will work with it in an in-depth level. So what they're going to do is they are literally going to be able to say, I, am, I, I need purification and they will know which elements to work with to achieve purification. I've got to say, some of the strongest witches can actually be elemental witches because they are working with the very essence and existence of what makes our world exist. Without these elements, nothing would be here. Maybe rock only. But you need all four to create this world that we are living in. So working with these energies is a really powerful thing to do. I love elemental witches they are amazing so next one oh crystal witch is it just me or is everybody wearing crystals is everybody posting pictures of crystals or is it just me is it just the crowd that i follow i don't know or is it people that i'm around but i have noticed people who i never thought would even be interested in witches are um, in witches in crystals are actually having crystals I mean on their desks and you're just like I don't know I like the crystal you know what I believe there is an awakening in people and I believe it's mother Gaia our beautiful earth that is sending this energy out using crystals to attract the eye of the people and then they begin to feel the energy and they are awakening crystal witches everywhere and this energy is so needed right now because of the healing that needs to take place because of the shifts that are take, taking place so crystal witches are literally reconnecting like this human energy that we have with the energy of our mother Gaia and if you are a crystal witch you don't just have crystals well you have crystals and you you can take a loan to buy crystals okay don't take a loan to buy crystals please but you go buy crystals like other people go and buy other women are buying makeup you know you're not buying makeup you're buying crystals and you love it you have a passion for it every new moon or every full moon there are millions of crystals on your windowsill you must well be a crystal witch i love crystal witches as well because they are healing the earth when you are doing that you are reconnecting the energies i love it so Ah, fairy witch, guys. Fairy witch is... Now, do people even believe in fairies? Most witches believe in fairies, guys, because we understand that they are energetic beings. And we do not call them fairies, we call them the fae. And to discuss anything that's got to do with fairies and fae, literally we need an episode for that all by itself. Its own total recording. So these are energies that are found in the spirit world but not really the spirit world there are many different levels of human uh, earthly plane and then spiritual planes different levels and they are in these levels and if you are connecting to anything like this it doesn't have to be a fairy i mean you can find connection to fae even through things like unicorns and through things like 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 uh, owls or 
uh, sprites or you're just feeling even towards mermaids, if you have that connection to that, this is a whole another story. I really must do a show on this one. And um, then you could be a fairy witch or a fae witch. I prefer to say fae. And that means you are healing those connections with these beings that have a great love and respect for our mother earth and you have fairy little ornaments and things all over your house in your garden in everywhere on your chances are you are connecting to them oh now wait a minute uh -huh. are you connecting to them or are they connecting to you that is why that's interesting okay fairy witch i actually will put something out for you guys and tell you how you can honor that and how you can actually make that bond so much stronger it's an amazing energy to work with and it's very healing guys so next one ooh, my favorite is hedge witch let's look at the word hedge witch you have a hedge you're on the hedge guys you're on the fence and the side you have the world of spirit the side you have the earthly plane hedge witch sits between and most of the time a hedge witch will be born with it if you're not born with it you are so attracted to these kinds of things and what kind of things are they dreams mm. if you're interested in dreams and deciphering dreams and you have extremely vivid dreams that can even come true tomorrow morning you almost are a hedge witch. If you're also finding that you've experienced situations where you lucid dream, and I'm going to discuss this with you deeper, or astral travel in a dream, you also have this real love and you feel quite natural meditating and it's just drawn into you. This is the hedge witch working. A hedge witch lives in this physical plane, but they are between worlds because they, they are half attached into the spirit world and half attached into the physical world. And this is their kind of existence. Sometimes as you can see a hedge which is kind of like dreamy kind of person. They kind of like drift off sometimes. You know, in meditation, you might see like images flashing through their mind, even faces sometimes. Hedge witch, connecting to the spirit realm, very easy. Even if you're not finding it easy, nothing is easy. Even for a person born with something, you have to work on it. Even that feeling of, I want to know how to lucid dream, is the sign of like, go this way. This is your calling. Trust those kind of instincts. Whatever you are drawn to, do that. Okay, guys, if you are drawn to drugs and alcohol, do not do that, okay? That is not your intuition speaking or your higher self. That is your ego. No, don't do that. I'm just saying, okay? Okay, next one, Cosmic Witch. We all know a Cosmic Witch and, oh, we do we? And not all of us know Cosmic Witches. Cosmic Witches are the astrologers. They are the people who follow what is happening in the cosmos. They're gonna know when the next eclipse is coming, how it is gonna affect us on this earth individually even as star sign they know all their houses and what is in each house they know their sun moon they're rising they're adjacent they jupiter i don't know jupiter ascending i don't know everything i don't i don't know okay i just listen to them for advice because they are very very good and for me cosmic language is someone who is very much attracted to the stars they know a lot about everything they were like literally give you the best advice you could ever ever get always listen to them okay and for me if you are a cosmic witch i really honor you because um you are actually the voice of this universe and the voice of the universe uses you to convey messages and insight into human existence and you are the connection you are actually showing people that we are not separate from what is out there this and us are the same thing when it moves we move with it nice honorable thing to be doing love astrology i so love it i i've really been learning a lot a little more about it these days so the last one i want to do have any more yes i have oh i must say this word right divinationary witch i absolutely cannot leave this one out because divinationary witches are the ones that literally can save us in the dark times when we need advice and we don't know who to ask you can go to a divinationary witch so if you are um you have tarot cards oh yes you have crystal balls 
you have you do mirror skyring, you have pendulums. Whoa, uh, spirit writing. My auntie was a divinationary witch, and she used to spirit write, and it was amazing to actually have that in my family. And tea leaf reading. I mean, where does the list even end? You are connected to spirit at the same way that cosmic witches are connected to the universe you are connected to the world of spirit and you are literally a channel for them to speak through divinationary witch really is there to help society if you are a divinationary witch don't hold it back you go out there if you're reading tarot cards if you are doing anything of the sort i mean reading palms you know if you're doing anything like that and you you have that talent in it don't hide it you put it out there and you go out there on Instagram, on YouTube and do it because there are millions of people on this, this planet and the person who you will help will be drawn to you and get the help that you can give them. It is a beautiful thing that you guys are doing, okay? So these are the nine different types of witches. I'm going to make a little in insert into each little one, put it out every week, put the links in the description below so that you can actually go in there into each individual one. Maybe you resonate with more than one could be a bit eclectic there and that is fine if you have two to three different kinds I mean I'm literally connected to about three of them so um, work on those three so that you can have the focus to increase what you're doing and to grow in your craft and that is the ultimate reason why you're even listening to the video it's why I even focus on a specific thing because I want to grow but now that being said doesn't mean that oh because I'm a green witch I will never become a cosmic witch I mean I don't know that the world is too small to do that in your life. But at this moment, you can basically focus on something until you feel the drawing and the passion to move on to something else. So guys, by the way, if you are not on this list, like I said, um, if you are art witch, you are a sea witch, you're a storm witch, comment below and let me know what kind of witch are you. I'd love to know. Maybe we can even discuss it a bit further. So guys, thank you so much for listening to me. And... Um, like the video and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you know when i talk about the different kinds of witches it can help you on your way and uh, you'll know when it comes out so thanks for listening so much just thank the spirits thank you spirits for being with us here today and uh sharing this information because sometimes i'm like you know just let's get the info out guys okay people need guidance right now so let's open the doors to what it's supposed to be and let it be free not like before when it was not free now it's all out there and everybody can learn you can learn thank you so much for listening to my channel and to me jabber on love you all so much bye